does this award mean to you from the Santa Barbara International Film Festival? It means an immense amount. Uh, you know, I have to sort of give a big nod to Tim Gray and Variety because I love the fact that they want to acknowledge artisans. All too often, as I'm sure you know, people who do what I do were considered the crafts or the technical, you know, disciplines. And I think Variety has rightfully acknowledged in these awards and in their coverage, the Artisan Series, that we're, we're filmmakers, we're storytellers, we're, um, we're artists. And that thrills me to no end. Very important. <laughs> now, you said that Mad Max Fury Roads, the sound is heavily influenced by Moby Dick. Can you tell me about how that came about? You know, it, once I tell you, it'll be painfully obvious. It was really meant as um, an allegory more than anything else. The end of the movie is a chase, and we wanted to anthropomorphize, make the, the war rig, the big truck, come to life. And I, so I saw Morton Joe shooting harpoons into something that I wanted to turn into a creature. So I thought, wait a minute, white, great white whale, Ahab, Herman Melville, it's Moby Dick. So we just used that as a metaphor and then followed through on that by utilizing whale-like sounds of groan, bestial groans and cries when it would be hit or when it would crash or when it would die. And when the harpoons go in, there's whale blowhole sounds, you know, when a whale surfaces. We'd use that for the sounds of the milk bursting out of the war rig. So it was just a handy allegory or even metaphor for, to give us some inspiration to find unusual sounds to use, not the ones you'd expect to hear. Brilliant. <laughs> what was the most important scene in this film for you? There was, no there was no such thing as a most important scene to us or to George. Mm -hmm. the, it was really an, an, a, a very, very gradual process of discovery for many, many months in the recording studio. We never sweated over any scenes. We just wanted to find detail and focus in every scene. And so it was a, it was a process of refinement, much like a, a furniture maker starts with a very fine grit sandpaper and, you know, sands down the finish. You go from a 200 grit to a 100 grit to a 50 to a 10 to a 1. That was our process, you know. Two years ago, we were with the 200 grit. By um, April of 2015, these were just really finessed moves that maybe only the aficionados of sound and, and cinema could appreciate, but it meant something to us, and we just felt that informed the movie, just made it a beautiful work of art. It was perfect for us. For everyone. So I'm sorry, I, I wish I could say there was a difficult scene, but they're all difficult. It's all work, and let's find the story we're trying to tell the sound and do that and do it to the best of our ability. And what's next for you? I just finished a Warner Brothers film called The Accountant, an extraordinary thriller, uh, spy thriller with um, uh, Ben Affleck and J.K. Simmons and Anna Kendrick, directed by Gavin O'Connor, a dear old friend and an amazing director, a real collaborator. It's coming out in uh, October of next year. And I just started yesterday on a, uh, a rip roaring comedy called Fist Fight that is, you'll, you'll pee your pants. <laughs> I'm sorry, you'll laugh and cry and kiss five bucks goodbye. <laughs> Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well deserved. Thank you. It's a Fabulous thrill to be here. Fun. Thank you all for having me.